we're given parametric equations asked to find dx dt, dy dt, dy dx, and then we'll also evaluate the functions and the derivatives at t equals four, and then finally find the speed at t equals four. Notice how the graph is provided, and we can tell by the orientation as t increases, the graph would be traced in this direction here. Let's begin by finding dx dt. dx dt is the derivative of x with respect to t, so the derivative of two t with respect to t would just be two minus the derivative of sine t with respect to t would be cosine t, so we have minus cosine t. And now for dy dt, we find the derivative of y with respect to t, the derivative of one would be zero, then we'd have minus four times the derivative of cosine t with respect to t, which would be negative sine so we'd have negative four times negative sine t, which would be positive four sine t. And now to find dy dx, because both x and y are functions of t, dy dx will be equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. So we have dy dt, which is four sine t, divided by dx dt, which is two minus cosine t. Now let's evaluate x and y when t equals four, as well as the derivatives when t equals four. So for x of four, we substitute four for t, that'd be two times four minus sine four. We'll get our decimal approximation here in just a moment. And for y of four, we'd have one minus four times cosine four. We first want to make sure that we're in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted, so we'll press second mode for quit. And now to find the x value when t is four, we want to enter eight minus sine four. Rounding to two decimal places, notice how the six in the third decimal place tells us to round up x would be approximately 8.76. So for y, we'd have one minus four cosine four. Running to two decimal places, notice how the four in the third decimal place tells us to round down, so y would be approximately 3.61. Which means when t equals four, the point on the coordinate plane would have coordinates 8.76 comma 3.61. So if we look at the graph for a moment, when t equals four, this would be the point on the curve. Notice how the x coordinate is approximately 8.76 and the y coordinate is approximately 3.61. Now let's evaluate dx dt when t equals four. Remember dx dt was equal to two minus cosine t. So dx dt would be equal to two minus cosine four. Again, we'll convert this to a decimal in just a moment. Let's also determine dy dt and dx dt. So dy dt when t equals four would be equal to four sine four. And dy dx would be equal to four sine four divided by two minus cosine four. It's better to use the exact values here rather than use the rounded values, then find the quotient and round again. So now we'll go back to the calculator. We have two minus cosine four. For dx dt when t equals four, this would be approximately 2.65. For dy dt when t equals four, we'd have four times sine four, which would be approximately negative 3.03. .03. And then finally for dy dx when t equals four, we have four sine four divided by 
quantity two minus cosine four. which would be approximately negative 1.14. So again, we had 2.65 here. We had negative 3.03 here. And we had negative 1.14 here. Let's discuss what this means. dx dt tells us the change of x with respect to t when t equals four. And therefore, x is increasing at a rate of 2.65 units per unit of time when t equals four. dy dt tells us the change of y with respect to t when t equals four. Notice how it's negative 3.03, .03, which means y is decreasing at a rate of 3.03 .03 units per unit of time. And then dy dx would tell us the slope of the tangent line when t equals four. So looking at the graph again for a moment, we should be able to tell from the orientation at this point the x value would be increasing because the point is moving toward the right. Y is decreasing because the point is moving downward. And if we sketch a tangent line at this point, it would look something like this. And because dy dx was approximately negative 1.14, the slope of this tangent line would be approximately negative 1.14. Now for the last part, let's find the speed when t equals four. So at t equals four, the speed is gonna be equal to the square root of dx dt squared when t equals four plus dy dt squared when t equals four. Well, when t equals four, dx dt was two minus cosine four so we'd have two minus cosine four here. And dy dt was equal to four sine four when t equals four. So we have four sine four squared here. Again, it's better to use the exact values here rather than the decimal approximations. But now we'll round this to two decimal places. So we have the square root of the quantity two minus cosine four squared plus the quantity four sine four squared. We need one more closed parenthesis for the square root. So the speed when t equals four is approximately 4.03 units per unit of time. I hope you found this helpful.